What is going on everyone? Shake and Bake 2355 here and welcome. It is time to start our Madden 18 franchise. Yeah, I know you guys are going to say we would had a Jaguars one. Well, I accidentally saved over the file. So we're getting a fresh start with a new team. I like the Redskins. I think, you know, they have a couple good pieces, but they also have a lot of things they need help with, especially receivers. Um, and, you know, I love to build teams. So we're going to be doing that. Lance Briggs was our defensive coordinator for our Bears franchise last year. He's going to be the head coach this year. Uh, difficulty all Madden, as always. I'll uh, give you the slider set when I figure it out. I haven't 100% figured it out yet. Uh, coach firing off, salary cap on, relocation disabled. Uh, Pre-existing injury is actually going to be off, injuries on. Uh, quarter length, I think I put up to 13 minutes. Anyway, let's take a look at the roster. Kirk Cousins. Going to be a huge decision for us, as you know, uh, playing under the franchise tag for the second year in a row. Um, so we got to decide if we're going to re-sign or not. 23 mil coming off our cap will be pretty dope at the end of the season. Uh, but we might want to lock him up. We'll see how he plays this year, and then we'll decide towards the end of the season. Uh, then Colt McCoy is our backup. Um, moving on. To uh, the skill set players, running backs, and receivers. Uh, Robert Kelly listed as our starter. Don't know who I'm going to start yet. Uh, Samaj P. Ryan, Chris Thompson. I like Thompson for his pass catching abilities. Uh, and then, of course, Mac Brown. Um, like I said, you know, we've got four running backs, none of which are particularly amazing. Uh, Robert Kelly's all right, though. Uh, so is Thompson. And then same with receivers, Crowder, Pryor, Dotson, uh, Ryan Grant, Brian Quick. Dotson probably has the most potential out of all of them. Uh, and Crowder is pretty good. Uh, but none of them are outstanding. I don't know if any of them are going to be uh, long stays on the team. Uh, but they're there, and we can develop them maybe. Jordan Reed is obviously the number one weapon on the offense. And then Vernon Davis, uh, he's actually, I'm going to add him to the trade block. Um, we do actually end up trading him after week one. I'll get more into that uh, when the time comes. Um, offensive line, Trent uh, Williams, pretty good. Sean Laval, I'm not really sure how to say that. He's decent. Spencer Long, 76. Uh, 76. Brandon Sheriff, 88. Out of Iowa, my Hawkeyes. And then Morgan Moses, 80. He's decent. So there's a couple pieces to rebuild on the O-line, but for the most part, Pretty good offensive line. Uh, on to the defense. Matthew Ioannidis. Very good player. 23 years old. 82 overall already. Uh, one thing I'm going to note. Since Briggs is our coach this year. We are switching to a 4-3 defense. Like I always do. Um, I did that with the Bears last year. Doing it again this year. But we're not going to mess with personnel too much. We're going to leave everyone the way they are. Kind of see how they do. And then kind of go from there. So we might have a terrible first year. As a lot of these guys don't fit our scheme. But hey, we got to rebuild at some point. Might as well just start right away. And then that way at the end of the year, we can kind of evaluate them uh, if they fit or not. Uh, Kerrigan on the other uh, lobe. And then Junior Galette's another guy um, I'm going to put on the trade block. Just because we can get probably some value for him maybe. Zach Brown at middle linebacker. Pretty good. Mason Foster. Uh, like I said, these guys are set at 3-4. So they have two, you know, decent middle linebackers. But obviously we're going to be playing a 4-3. So we'll get rid of that right away. Uh, Mason Foster, we're going to put him on the trade block. See if anybody wants him. And over at Roll, Trent Murphy. Pretty decent young player. But again, probably doesn't fit our scheme. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, Preston Smith. Young, decent player as well. And then on to corner, Josh Norman's another big one. I uh, really, I like him, but he's kind of older, getting older there. So, I mean, if we could get something for him, maybe try it. So, I did go ahead and put him on the trade block here to start. Um, I think he'll help us, but at the same time, you know, if we can get something for him, we're rebuilding. Uh, might as well. But, like I said, he is locked off for four years, and... Uh, that last year's gonna, I mean, that's nine mil every year. That's kind of a lot for a corner. I mean, he is good, but I don't know if we can get something for him. Because we got Kendall Fuller, good young corner there, Brashad Breeland, 
And then, of course, I like to, you know, draft and bring in my own guys. So, I don't know. We'll see what we can get for him. D'Angelo Hall is another one, 33 years old, 79 overall. On a one-year deal, I'd much rather play Monte Nicholson. Um, so, put uh, Hall on the trade block as well. And if we don't get off for him, I might just try to manually trade him for a late-round pick or something. Just because I'd much rather play Nicholson. Much younger and not much worse. And like I said, he's only on a $1.35 million deal, so he shouldn't be hard to move. Uh, I just don't I don't think a lot of people want him. And uh, as we move on to strong safety, Sue Cravens, 22 years old, 80 overall already. Pretty decent player. Swearinger is another guy we can put on the block. I uh, don't know if anyone will want him either, but someone we can put on the block uh, as we try to rebuild this team. And then on the kicker, as you know in real life, Dustin Hopkins is on IR. So they signed Nick Rose out of Texas. Um, but we got Tressway, who's actually can punt and kick. So I'm thinking of just keeping Tressway as our kicker and punter. I don't know. Uh, I haven't decided 100% yet, but we do cut Nick Rose. So we have Hopkins and then Way. But I looked at their kick power and kick accuracy, and Way is better at both. So I might just have him play both positions. Um, and then taking a look at our practice squad. Just going to run through that real quick before we end the video here. Um, as our first episode is just kind of going over the team. And then next episode we'll get into week one uh, where we are facing the Eagles. So that will do it for week one, guys. If you want to enjoy the video, please do subscribe. Be sure to leave a like. Come on back for more. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.